Hi everyone, my name is Rohit Sharma and I'm program director at Upgrad. Now over the past couple of months, a lot of professionals or in fact aspirants have been talking about what are some of the key skill sets that they would need to have to be able to successfully transition into, uh, you know, so to say a data profession. And, you know, I just wanted to talk today about those couple of skill sets, right? So in total, I think there are four key skill sets that you would need to make that successful transition. The first one is you need to have a very solid domain understanding. So data analysts are ultimately problem solvers. They have to solve a problem in a specific business context. So they would need to understand, you know, the variables that are there in, in one particular business. What are the levers that they can potentially move to, you know, let's say increase revenue, right? Let me in fact take an example. Uh, with the onset of Geo, uh, Reliance Geo, uh, other subscribers or other networks are essentially facing immense amount of churn of customers, right? So you would have uh, customers from Airtel, Vodafone, etc. switching to Reliance Geo. Now let's say uh, uh, a company wants to predict uh, which of the customers are in fact going to churn. Now the business context here is really critical. Whom or how would you identify uh, the impact of a customer churning? Let's say a customer, uh, if he or she churns, uh, he, or, he or she has been giving you around a thousand rupees uh, uh, worth of business every month, but has a very small network, right? So if he or she churns, uh, you know, you'd have around a thousand rupees being lost in revenue. There is one more customer, uh, which is giving you, let's say 50 rupees only on a monthly basis in terms of revenue, but he or she has a very wide network of around 50 to 60 individuals. And if, if he, he if he churns, then the entire network also churns, right? So you can understand, right? You can see how business understanding becomes really critical in terms of identifying the objectives of the entire analysis, right? So in nutshell, business understanding is a must-have skill if you want to become a data analyst, right? That's one. Now, the second one is that given that you have identified a problem statement, you would want to make decisions objectively, right? Now, to be able to make these objective decisions, you would rely on mathematics or statistics, right? So let's say in the telecom churn problem itself, right? You would want to identify patterns and see which of the customers bases their profile information, bases their historical, uh, you know, uh, uh, usage of your network and so on and so forth, which are more likely to churn. And you need to be objective during making that decision, right? So mathematics and statistics come to your rescue. So you would use some sort of prediction algorithm, some sort of classification or clustering algorithm to identify these patterns, right? So after business understanding, mathematics or statistics becomes extremely important. Now, the third part is technical skills, right? Usage of technology to be able to decide these things, right? So you identified the problem, you used mathematics. Now you want to do the, the evaluation at scale, right? So maybe given, uh, you know, a couple of customers you could have identified using, you know, a pen and paper, which of the customers are going to churn. You would want to know right now, out of the millions of customers that you have, which of them are more likely to churn, right? So that is where technological intervention becomes extremely critical. So usage of tools like R, Python, SQL, etc. They become really important and they come handy when you want to perform operations at scale. And finally, like many other fields, you would need to have good or in fact great soft skills. So think about this particular scenario, right? Uh, if you are a data profession, a professional, uh, you are attacking a business problem, right? You want to solve it. But ultimately, this has to be communicated to a wider group who might not understand, you know, KS statistic or, you know, uh, root mean square error and so on and so forth. Ultimately, you'll have to tell a story about the impact of the analysis that you have done. And that is where, you know, soft skills, impactful communication, use of great visualization, or visualization tools like Tableau, ClickView, ggplot, etc. becomes really important to convey the impact of the analysis that you have been uh, doing, right? Irrespective of the background that you come from, you can potentially transition to the field of data analysis. If you are an IT professional, you already have solid foundations in the technological aspect of it. So you need to pick up statistics, you need, need to have better understanding of one of the domains that you prefer, and then, you know, again, a combination of these three aspects would make you a sound data professional. If you are someone who has done, let's say, a PhD in statistics, in that particular case, you already have the mathematical know-how. You need to just contextualize that mathematical knowledge in context of a domain and need to know the technological developments. 
to be able to perform analysis at scale. In fact, if you have no, no solid background in any one of these fields, then also it's possible to pick up business understanding or domain understanding. Then after that, knowing various statistical or mathematical concepts. And finally, just uh, deep diving into some of the tools. You know, if you do these things, again, you will be a complete data professional. I'm hoping this particular video helps you. In case if you have any specific queries regarding your specific background, how you should think about transitioning or what particular opportunities you can potentially tap into if you transition, write to us at analytics at upgrad.com and we'll make sure that we're taking care of all the queries and get back to you within time. Okay, bye-bye.